This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. We're at Caboodle Gifts. Basically, since 2008, they have been providing unique and handcrafted gifts for the folks here in Denver. I am here with the founder and owner, Marlena. Let me ask you, Marlena, what was the initial spark that gave birth to the place here. I was working with a nonprofit organization that was a mother-to-mother -mother support system and I noticed that a lot of the mothers that came in there were really crafty um, and I thought it would be really cool if there was a store in place where they could sell items that they made where they wouldn't have to mass produce it, they wouldn't have to leave their kids at home and sort of that's where the spark for the idea came from. So we are talking about the quite opposite of mass manufacturing takes yep. place here. We are talking about women, small businesses, entrepreneurs who are able to have a place where they can put their wares and quite honestly the consumers got to love it because you got some real unique things. Give me a quick kind of overview of everything that you have here. Um, we have handcrafted cards, jewelry, soaps, lotions, a lot of glassware, a lot of metalwork. We have some great coffees and teas, candles. A little bit of everything <laughs> across the board. Absolutely. Everything from scarves to purses and everything in between, which is great. Is there a certain gender or age group that you seem to accommodate to more? Yeah, we really do accommodate more women over 30. Sure. Perfect. And let me ask you, when people come in here and shop, um, we see a lot of the testimonials out there. People love the place. Um, one lady says it makes her feel happy. That's a good thing for a consumer. People are shopping here. They're shopping with a conscience, right? Tell me a little bit about the um, the ideas you have behind how things are made. The idea was that we wanted to go with things that were handmade and things that were local. We really wanted to be supporting the neighborhood that we're in. We wanted to be a part of the neighborhood. We didn't want to be just another store in the block that's there. We really wanted to make a difference in the neighborhood we were in. So we're, I'd say 70% of what we have in here is probably vendors from about the five miles around the store. So very local. Very local. And speaking of neighborhood and very local, let me ask you this. Giving back is a big part of the community. Tell me what you've been able to do in the past year. We have done several items to help support some of the other nonprofits in the area. Fundraisers for the same cafe. Um, we did a Sundays on Saturday where they could come in and, and just donate money for their little ice cream sundae. One of the things that we carry here at the store are jewelry from the Women's Bean Project, which is a local nonprofit. It's been around a little over 20 years, and they have a program in place that they work with women who are in poverty, who've had issues with either uh, addiction or trouble with the law. They work with them for about nine months. And, and help them get job skills, job training. They help them in whatever ways they can, as well as having a job. And they started making jewelry about three years ago, and we were the first store in Colorado to carry their jewelry. So not only are you supporting us when you buy a Women's Beam Project item, you're also helping to support that great organization, too. We've done things for the Cook Park Neighborhood Association for their 4th of July celebration, the Montessori School, Rocky Mountain School of Expeditionary Learning, several organizations, several nonprofits. We've done a lot of businesses out there ourselves and it's a good list for three years. So you're definitely giving back to the community. I think that's important what you say. Not only is it important supporting you here, but you're actually supporting quite a few entrepreneurs out there as well. Yes, you are. The front area here is great. That's where the shoppers come in, take a look at some of the products that you've got here. But you're very unique because you have a back room there as well. You've got the uh, place where you can actually host classes. Tell me about that a little bit. Yeah, we try to do classes on the weekends as often as possible. We've got some really great, unique jewelry making classes, metal work, metal cutting, metal stamping. She does classes with us the third Saturday of every month. Our card maker does card making classes a couple times a year, so you can really go home with some really unique and wonderful looking cards. Everything from herb gardening to food carving, knitting, Jeez. really just about anything anybody shows an interest in, I try to get somebody in here for class. Speaking of some other classes out there, folks, and you can take a look at the bottom of the screen there. Their website is right there as well. You can also click and like them there on Facebook. That's where they pretty much keep you in the loop of what's going on, what type of classes they have coming up. And also, uh, Marlena is definitely listening to ideas that you have out there that she can incorporate back in that classroom as well. Let me ask you, you said a lot of stay-at-home moms, small entrepreneurs. 
What about people who want to bring you some wares? How do they get a hold of you, and is that possible? That's how I get most of my new items at this point, is people either come in and show me what they have, or they send me an email with pictures. And it's really just if it's something that I think is a neat item and I don't have it already, we talk. You uh, just passed that three-year mark, you said here, is that mm -hmm. correct? 7A list was one of the awards you got. What was that? We were a top five gift shop in both 2009 and 2011. Um, as one of the best gift shops in Denver, as well as Westward's in 2009, Westward's best place to shop local. Well, and you've got it all right there, folks. Like I said, their contact information is at the bottom of the screen right there as well. You're basically going to walk in and find a place where uh, you can feel good about actually shopping. You can also find some unique items that, quite honestly, you're not going to find down the street or find at the local mall. And know also that um, you're talking about a business that is giving back to their community as well. So this is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.